Yo, it's Sway. 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 In the morning. 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 Only on Shade 45. Wake your fuck ass up. Yeah. Bitches. Dan yep. Aykroyd is here. We're going to do a taste test in a moment. We got yes. Sean from Detroit is here. Sean, go, uh, go ahead and say hello to Dan Aykroyd. Hey, how you doing, Dan? Good, sir. What's happening, Slay, Heather B? Good hey, morning. what's going on? Hey, Tracy G's here, too, man. Mm -hmm. What's up, Sean? The, the beautiful Tracy G. What's happening? All right. Oh, thank you. Go ahead. Um, I, I recently seen a, a documentary that, that you uh, were in, uh, Mr. Aykroyd. It was uh, on Netflix. It was uh, about UFOs. And yep. We have real similar views on it, and I, I, I hate when people dismiss it and they think you're crazy right when you mention UFOs, but just so other people can see that side of you, what, what's your take on that? I was just curious. Well, uh, uh, there was a, a, a British uh, uh, minister. Uh, uh, he was actually a secretary of Air Force, uh, and uh, he, he, uh, he was a high-placed high, high British official, and... Uh, he had some knowledge there. He was uh, his name was Lord Hill Norton, in fact, and uh, he said that there were he figured twenty three different species of aliens and twenty three different types of ships visiting uh, our planet since the beginning of time. Twenty three, yeah. Uh, so I, 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 I I've seen four of them, and uh, I'll give you four references right now. Uh, you should get the book Contact by Stanton Friedman and Betty Marsden. I mean uh, Kathleen Mar Martin Marden. Uh, it is about the Barney and Betty Hill case. Uh, mm -hmm. You know Barney and Betty Hill. They were driving down from New Hampshire, and they got taken up in a ship and abducted and uh, tested, and uh, it basically kind of ruined their lives. Um, they didn't want this kind of publicity, uh, and in the end, uh, it, it caused Mar Barney's premature death. And uh, But Betty went on to be a crusader for the, the cause, so that's a great book, Contact. I ask you to reference also the Voronezh incident in 1978 in Russia, V-O-R-O-N-E-Z-H. 400 people saw two different ships come down with two different sizes of mm -hmm. creatures. Mm -hmm. Again, I'm not making this but, but up. How did they describe the creatures? So one was tall, one was small. The ships were different, and it's thought that, uh, that the... Uh, the the small ones were coming down to kind of play havoc with humans, and the tall ones came to kind of check them and say, don't do not do it. But the Russian government had a scientific study then, and they went right into it. Um, and then, uh, of course, uh, there's there's cases like um, uh, uh, Travis Walton, who was yeah. taken up. And, um, you yeah. know, so I, I, I'm, I'm a believer. I've seen four, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure they weren't uh, meteoric bolide. I'm pretty sure wait, they weren't wait, mercury. Wait, 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 Dan, you talk, man. Where did you see four? Yeah, you, you said you, see, right you saw it. four? Yeah, I, well, uh, I was in Martha's Vineyard one night at 3 in the morning, and uh, I went out actually on the deck to, uh, to relieve myself. Because I like uh, to do that outside because I'm a man. Did you defecate or did you piss? Uh, no, no, that uh, <clears throat> I'd like to master that. That would be, yeah. That, that. Uh, no, I was just having a leak out there, and uh, and I saw these two objects uh, uh, at about a hundred thousand feet, glowing very brightly, flying uh, all edge to edge, two discs, and uh, you know, very very bright, just uh, just like uh, you know round and, and, and vividly bright. And so I called my wife out and I called two other people that were sleeping in the house. I said, come out, you got to see this. And we watched as these things lazily sort of zigzagged across the sky at what must have been around 20,000 miles an hour. Wow. Now, I know wow. that wasn't a planet. I know aircraft. I've I've been in a, a, a an F-5 fighter plane. I've been in helicopters. I've basketballed a DC-10 uh, simulator down the runway. Uh, I've been in a B-25. I, I know aviation. Stars. It was yeah. not... You know that. So that was the first one. And uh, the second one was uh, I was at my farm and I was going out uh, into town going to dinner and it was at night and I saw this little red light coming along the, the power lines that run uh, on the other farm next to me and uh and a little red light moved along and i'm like oh, that's got to be a helicopter and i'm looking and so i got a police bike and it's got the wig wags on it the uh, yeah. the lights so i turn them on and i and you know just to kind of see if i can attract attention and the thing comes right over and about 700 feet above me it uh -huh. shines a light on me uh -huh. and i'm listening i'm listening i gotta hear rotor wop what I, I gotta hear rotor wash i gotta hear i gotta hear an engine here i gotta yeah. hear an engine i hear no engine you heard nothing and and that thing popped that light on me really bright light and I kind of looked at it, and then the light winked off, and the thing just floated really, really slowly away, you know, slower than, than a helicopter might have been going. Now, the fourth one was I was in Montreal, Canada. I was in a hotel room watching spiders make webs on the 23rd floor of the Queen Elizabeth Hotel. They were the up, number they were, 23. Mm. Yeah, could be uh, yeah, yeah, numbers. Yeah, they say yeah, three, numerology. four, five. Yeah. Numerology yeah, five hundred five. My favorite number. And this thing was coming along, and it was a big square thing. It looked like a bunch of party balloons all stuck together. And I'm thinking that's going to be the biggest party balloon set that I've ever seen. It was a big gray thing. It must have been 
oh, I'm thinking maybe 100 feet long and maybe 10 feet across. Big square thing. It comes and it just stops. And there's no strings, no, you know, it's not yeah. like a barrage balloon or a blimp or anything. It just stops and it's slowly turned and then just drifted off over the river. And I'm thinking, man, that that's unconventional. Then I went back to look at my book that I have where I have some references uh-huh. there and I, I saw one just like it. So I, I believe I've seen four. Okay. I, I, I believe the reports of other people you know and what? I think there's something going on. Dan Aykroyd is here. It's Sway in the morning. Only on Shea 45.